Hallo und herzlich willkommen hier bei Bewusstsein TV. Heute möchte ich euch eine ganz besondere Organisation vorstellen, die Soul Foundation. Die Soul Foundation wurde von Professor Gary Nolan und Professor Peter Scarfish gegründet und ihr Gründungstreffen fand am 21. August 2023 statt. Sie ist ein führendes Zentrum für die Forschung zu unbekannten Luftphänomenen, auch bekannt als UAP, früher UFO. Sie hat sich der ernsthaften, gut finanzierten und hochmodernen akademischen Forschung zu UAP und ihren weitreichenden kosmologischen und politischen Auswirkungen verschrieben. Mit Teams von renommierten Spezialisten aus verschiedenen Disziplinen führt die Soul Foundation strenge, methodische und hochmoderne Untersuchungen zu UAP und ihren Auswirkungen durch. Aber ihre Arbeit geht über die reine akademische Forschung hinaus. Sie erstreckt sich auch auf Beratungs- und Politikarbeit sowie öffentliche Bildung. Die Mission der Soul Foundation besteht aus drei Teilen. Sie finanziert und legt eine klare Richtung für die ersten 25 Jahre öffentlicher Forschung im Zusammenhang mit UAP fest. Sie bietet zuverlässige, hochmoderne Beratungsforschung für Regierungen und Unternehmenskunden an. Und sie bietet der Öffentlichkeit Einblicke und Anleitungen zu den kosmologischen und politischen Auswirkungen von UAP. Die Soul Foundation strebt einen sozialen, verantwortlichen Ansatz für das Problem an, der für demokratische Gesellschaften angemessen ist. Sie fördert ein größeres Gefühl der gemeinsamen Menschlichkeit über Kulturen, Glaubensrichtungen, Nation und Politikbereiche hinweg. Jetzt, nach dieser Einführung, möchte ich euch das Originalvideo der Soul Foundation zeigen, um euch einen noch tieferen Einblick in ihre Arbeit und Mission zu geben. Und wenn ihr Fragen oder Anregungen habt, lasst es mich gerne wissen. Vergesst nicht, diesen Kanal zu abonnieren, die Glocke zu aktivieren, um keine Updates mehr zu verpassen. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Gleich nach dem Intro geht's weiter. The Soul Foundation is an institute of research that funds and guides um, uh, research in sciences, the social sciences, the humanities, and that also produces uh, policy and advisory research that is aimed to illumine and help us clear up what's going on with the UAP issue and also prepare us to deal with the social implications of it. I come from a tradition in science of taking from multiple different fields of science and thought simultaneously and synthesizing them into something new. You create and you invent. I'm a tinkerer by nature, and so here we are tinkering with uh, the reality of what this might actually mean. We also are putting together what we call a whole of society approach that engages all institutions and kinds of people so that we can deal with what may promise to be a very world-changing issue uh, in a way that involves everyone. Here you now have uh, everybody realizing that it's possible to talk about this uh, and that they're not going to be booed out of the room. Uh, welcome to California, welcome to Stanford. The objective here is to legitimize and professionalize and then to seek from you uh, your ideas. We know from our private life that finding a partner provides a meaning to our existence. The same holds for finding a partner in outer space. Suddenly the universe will not appear to be lonely. A lot of individuals who previously thought that they were alone in their thought or their belief system suddenly finding that they had many other individuals with whom they could speak. And so now the networks are forming and we hope that this will catalyze 
an opportunity for others to basically step forward instead of us or along with us. Not sure I'm aware of any sort of think tank organizations in recent years at the level of Seoul. I mean, in terms of the people that they have attracted to the organization, not just the founders, but people associated with it, the people here at this conference. I've been going to conferences for 22 years and I've never been to one at the level of this one. So I think it's really unique. Everyone here in the audience has uh, kind of praised it as the best event they've seen on this. And they've told us that everyone who needs to be here is here speaking uh, and that the audience is composed of just as many important people. This is why we have the Soul Foundation. Uh, we need to basically create a parallel track of uh, research and you know independent discovery that aren't necessarily dependent on the u.s government to provide us all the answers before the, the space program people felt that we couldn't even go into space you know that human beings were tied to the earth yeah. now we have over 500 people have actually flown in orbit okay uh, and so it's not uh something that's unthinkable anymore it's something people do okay so uh, the the stigma has been removed imagine if you could actually use some kind of technique to search for unidentified objects that are non-human a goal is to search for a specific identifiable signature from an et probe or non-human object it's, it's an absolute perfect moment for soul to get involved because we need policymakers to be advised on this, right? I mean, they want to do the right thing. There are many of many members of Congress who want more transparency, but the more information they can get from the brilliant people associated with Seoul, the better it is. So I think the moment is perfect. The fact that they're acknowledging it, whereas before, you know, there's been rumors that NASA didn't want to do anything and other people didn't. But I think there's kind of like a crescendo or something's coming where now we can all get behind it and I think if we can get this into more mainstream academia, I think it will help with a lot. The more academics in, uh, that are writing papers, uh, the broader the base of interest is going to become, and I think that's another really important aspect of what Seoul is doing. when one gets in this field is that you end up with more collaborators, more supporters, and uh, more offers of help than you would get if you were working on something conventional. What they're really just trying to do is foster a coalition of the willing to, uh, to properly identify what's going on. I think there's been other groups that have done this, but not at, not at the scale of which Saul is trying to do this. The Saul Foundation is something that we've all been dreaming for a long time, and I, I think it's a the appropriate way to to call attention to the problem and to, 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 to gather the energy that we're going to need to go forward. Anybody who brings something forward in a manner that is logical and non-hyperbolic, uh, we want to hear from them. The influence that Seoul can have in terms of bringing in the academic community and, and drawing these people in and creating papers that academics can read it's going to expand the base of people that become aware of this situation, of the UAP issue, and it might draw in other intelligent people that haven't been exposed to it so far. When this conversation develops and when the issue develops, we're always there to uh, 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 provide answers because we were asking the questions that people are today, five, ten years before. We're on the precipice of feeling that we are both smaller and larger than what we thought we were before. Smaller in that there's a greater uh, sense of intelligences that might be out there, and so therefore we're one of many. But, uh, so that can make you feel small, but then bigger by knowing that you're as part of a community. Das war die Einführung in die beeindruckende Arbeit der Soul Foundation. Ich hoffe, dass ihr einen tieferen Einblick in ihre Mission und ihre Forschung zu unbekannten Luftphänomenen, den sogenannten UAP, bekommen habt. Im nächsten Video werden wir uns das Symposium der Soul Foundation ansehen, das am 17. und 18. November stattfand. 
Es war ein bedeutendes Ereignis mit vielen interessanten Vorträgen und Diskussionen. Ich freue mich darauf, euch eine Zusammenfassung dieses Symposiums zu präsentieren. Vergesst nicht, in der Beschreibung nachzusehen. Dort habe ich alle wichtigen Links zur Soul Foundation und zu weiteren Informationen für euch zusammengestellt. Vielen Dank für eure Aufmerksamkeit. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Bleibt neugierig und offen für neue Erkenntnisse. Vergesst nicht, diesen Kanal zu abonnieren und die Glocke zu aktivieren, um keine Updates mehr zu verpassen. Bis bald, eure Alex von Bewusstsein TV.